it's Jess here from Sun Valley Trading Code, the Australian distributors of Cowboy Industrial sewing machines and leather machines. Today I just want to show you a bit of troubleshooting and fixing that one day you might need to do if you get into a bit of trouble on the Cowboy 6900. If you get some loose ends of threads or get some knots in the bobbin area here it's likely that the machine won't be able to wind over anymore because the thread even just the tiniest bit of thread that gets caught in here will jam it up so you just need to take off a couple of these layers here and be able to get the thread out so that you can unjam it so i'll just show you how to do that So first off, if you have any jam up, you want to get rid of all the threads that you can easily. So snip and pull out whatever you can and then remove the bobbin. Continue to pull out whatever you can see. And then the next step is to take out these three tiny little screws here. So for that, you'll need a baby little flat screwdriver. Sometimes they can be pretty tight, sometimes they're not too bad. So you just have to give it a go and if they're not easy then you try things to help like something to help you grip the screwdriver, pliers, strongman, whatever you can come across. A magnetic screwdriver is very handy because you don't want to lose any of these tiny little screws. So if you take the little semicircle clamp off, then you can take this bobbin basket out by lining up this gap here with the ridge on the hook. Line up this gap here with the ridge on the hook here. And this should just come straight out. Then, if there's any, any little thing caught down there, you can pull it out. If it continues to be jammed, this screw here can be undone and this whole, the whole hook assembly can be taken out. To actually take this whole hook assembly out, you'll need to undo the screws in the end of the cylinder here and take the needle plate off. Then you can have a look and make sure there's no threads or any remnants of anything left in there that will be restricting the movement. This here matches up to go over this, the prongs on each side of that. that little locator thing gets moved um, just remember you want this here in about this position now put this back in we want this gap spot where the ring doesn't go all the way around this gap here to line up with this ridge part here of the hook in here to line up with this gap part here. When it's lined up it'll just pop in easy. If it's not lined up it just won't go in. So a thing to consider when you're putting this in is 
that when it's all going again, you want this to go about here and this to be on this side of this little thing here that separates the thread. So we can get the hook in the right position to line this up. Out like that. Not too far. So we've got this little hook about here, and this part is on the right hand side of the thread separator. Now we put the little clamp back in. And we put the needle plate back on. An important step when you're putting this back on is lining up this little tab here with this gap in the needle plate. This little tab has to go in there. It's a locator to hold it all in the right place. Then we can put the bobbin back in. Quick check on the timing. Looks like the hook's going past the needle at the right time. And now we can sew again. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you out if this is the trouble that you're having. Feel free to send us a message or give us a call if you need any other help.